Welcome to the ROD Podcast, where we keep our foot on the neck of the oppressors. Hosted by June the NBIC, this is the place where truth meets knowledge. No sugarcoating, no holding back, just real talk about culture, spirituality, and waking up from the lies we've been told. Are you ready to open your mind and challenge the narrative? What it do, y'all? It's your brother, man, from the motherland, coming to you guys live from the NY, back with another one on our ROD pod. For those that don't know who I am, I am him, Jones, at NBIC, representing that ROD. Yeah. Definitely want to give a shout out to all you guys for your continuous support, leaving all the feedback, the positive, the negative, all things is respected and needed because it allows me to do what I do best, and that is to continue keeping my foot on heathens, he grows in the newly installed heathen ice next. But of course, we also got to include these so-called religions which is christianity islam judaism hebrewisms hinduisms and any other isms that's keeping us in spiritual prison are you dumb or are you dumb round of applause for that <laughs> hold on let me let me move the camera back just a little bit just a little bit okay perfect um yeah Today, man, today was a beautiful day, man. Um, I was able to record the very first episode of The Awakening Hour, you know, the path to true spiritual connections with the heavenly ones. And, you know, it was it was cool. It was calm. It was collective, very respective. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm, I try to keep it at a subtle and righteous approach. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes... My aggression scare individuals off. You know, a lot of this fear of alpha males come from the ideologies that came with, you know, with the Euro Christian ideology. But at the same time, man, you know, you you always gotta meet people where they at and it's just what it is, right? You can't you can't fight you can't fight that fight without seeing other people's insight, right? But tonight, I'm excuse me, not tonight, but right now on this broadcast, I wanted to talk on this so-called black culture right a lot of times you know black people tend to get mad at individuals like myself for exposing or expounding on the atrocities that's being done within you know entertainers um athletes you name it you know what i'm saying and right now you know there's a lot of things going on within the p diddy situation a lot of people you got mixed emotions. You got people that's upset of the things that he was doing. And you got those that standing with him and saying things like, listen, man, he's not been charged. I mean, he's been charged, but he has not been, you know, prosecuted as far as um, having a trial. So we don't know nothing. We don't have enough evidence. There's no evidence. And we shouldn't, you know, kick a black man when he's down. And, you know, this is our culture at the end of the day. And we're supposed to represent and unite and stand strong. And, you know, when, when our brother's going through, you know, these type of adversities. And to a degree, you guys make a valid point. But at the same time, man, you know, what's done in darkness has to come to the light, right? And right, right now, in this current state that we are in, there's, there's individuals that's, you know, doing wrong. And it seems like because of our black culture, like no snitching, no telling, you know, we allow these people to do wrong until that wrong come knocking at your door and somebody that you love is affected. And for me, you know, the question that I got for you, you know, for the blacks and browns all across town, the question that I got is simple. Do we really even have a culture? Like in reality, think about that. What really is our culture? Because if you think hip-hop is our culture, you is highly mistaken. It is not our culture. The behavior P. Diddy was doing, you know, allegedly, that is not our culture. You can say whatever you want. That is not of our culture. You know? Our culture doesn't, the, the, doesn't you know, define itself by murdering, robbing, stealing, killing, violating. That is not our culture. When you look down... And deep down this rabbit hole and you see where these characteristics come from, the origin of it, you will see that it comes from the oppressor. So if the oppressor is, is if the oppressor's characteristics is, is something that we do, then 
Nine out of ten times, that's just not us. Now, today's state of hip hop, today's state of this black lifestyle is not of us. We try to, you know, keep up with the Joneses, Europeans. You understand? We, we, the way that we talk, the way that we dress, the way that we conduct ourselves, the way that we view ourselves is not of black, African, Native American, whatever you want to call it. It is not of our culture. In fact, not only is it not our culture, we are the ones that's culture vulture. We are the ones that's following the ways of them and not us. So the state of the, the state of so-called black culture, like, Honestly, ask yourself, do we even have one? From where? Show show me. See, when I look at Chinese people, Chinese people are able to, you know, show themselves, tell you who they are. They could trace it back thousands of years. You, you tracing yours back when? 1619, 1611? You this is when you trace yours back. And, and let's just let's just see what, what you consider culture. Being violent eating the foul food crab crab shrimp lobster pigtails pig di ingesting um intestines this is our culture think about that is that really your culture this is something that we we standing on and saying this is us and nobody else should nobody else should have something to say no critique or anything please these people have more these people got more rights into your culture than you actually do think about that you want to be a gangster. Where does the gangster, um, where does being a gangster or, or the origin behind being a gangster? Where, where did it originate from? Europeans. Pimping and hoeing. Where does that originate from? Europeans. Sexual, um, 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 sexual activities. You know, unrighteousness. Where does it come from? Where the, where's the origin of that? European. Okay? Murdering somebody? Where does that come from? European. Where does drugs come from? European. So the first drug dealer was a European. The first murderers was Europeans. The first deadbeat dads was Europeans. Everything that we consider black is literally European. You do not have a culture. So how can you say that people like DJ Vlad is a culture vulture? Culture vulture in what? Culture vulture in what? He's not culture vulture in something that's destructive upon black people. That's exactly what they do. That's what they was doing to you. That's what they still do until this day. So exactly what is he culture vulture? Our culture, our culture in hip hop died the minute we started using their ideology, accepting their money, ex uh, accepting their advice. It became their culture. When we started dressing like them, wearing their brands, it became their culture. It's theirs. When we was when we was shouting out, fight the power, break dancing, graffitis, you know what I'm saying, talking about the atrocities that's being done to us by such organizations called the government. When we was talking about that, that's when it was your culture. When it went to I'm spinning the block, hand on my glock, boop, 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 don't stop. That became their culture. When it came to niggas ain't sugar honey iced tea. Women ain't sugar, honey, I see. That became their culture. That was their culture. You're just copying their lifestyle. When you brag about the money and the cars and the places that you've been, the million dollar homes, who you think that is about? That is their culture. That is not yours. Our culture has to fall in line with the four elements. And I've been saying this for so long. Our culture has to fall in the lines of freedom, justice, health prosperity and power black people you have no power when it comes to hip-hop you have no control you don't distribute your music 
You don't publish your music. You don't have no ownership to no radio stations. You don't have no ownerships to no movie, no, no, no movie plots, slots, whatever. You have no position. In fact, you come running to them. You, 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 you audition in front of them. You don't audition in front of your people. That is not our culture. When you see music like reggae, we used to be a righteous, literally a righteous platform. Start talking about killing and doing this to women and the romp shop and all of that. That is not our culture. That is not our behavior. So are we justifying animal mentality, savagery? This is not our culture. In fact, this is just a community convention. And you guys are the host, DJ, MC, Mike Checker. That's what you are. You are making sure that the party lives on. That the party goes on another day, another night, another year, another decade, another century. Because that is the culture that they told you you are the representation of. Even when you go back, the biggest investors, the ones that was buying the CDs, the ones that was going buying the tickets to go to the concerts, is them, not you, which means that is theirs. He that invests the money into something that is theirs. If I if I invest my hard-earned money into stock, that stock is my stock. And if I the more stock shares that I have, the more say I can say, guess what? They have more say in your so-called culture than you do. And they, and they got the system behind them to justify anything that they want to do. That's why people like DJ Vlad could say whatever they want, do whatever they want. Wish you would. What you going to do? Put your hands on him? He wish you would. Because with the power that come behind who he is and what he stands on, which is European ideology. The Europeans will slay you before you wake up even in the morning. Come on now. Stop. This is their culture. You got to accept it for what it is. This is their culture. It been their culture. And they're not ready to let go. They're not ready to let go. In fact, they will never let go. Because as long as you're promoting something that they can relate to eternally, internally they can relate to it. Yeah, this is mine. Thank you. Trey Debo. Listen, they took on, they took it over just like they took over your land. Just like they took over you, just like they took over your identity. Please, what culture? Y your last name is Johnson. Relax. Your property. And whatever the property produces, that's theirs too. Just like just like somebody that owns a dog. If the dog had puppies, guess what? The owner owns the puppies too. And if the and if the owner wants the puppy to not be next to the mother that actually gave birth to it he can do that you know why because he owns the puppies too guess what since you're owned whatever you create they own it too oh oh come here come here tyrone oh you oh you want to rap i like that boop, 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 boop. i like that honey you like it yes give me it but that shut up go to the side this is mine's you want PC? Sure. You can get you you can get two percent. But that's not enough. You make it enough. Like 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 smoky moms. You make it enough. So what you do? You take this ideology now and then you take it to the community. You extort your people. You violate your people. You disrespect your women. You want war with your brothers. The same brothers that's going through the same atrocities. You want war with them. Because the person that owns you told you that you only getting two percent, and you know that you worth so much more, but you're so ignorant that you don't even know that the real issue is the ones that told you you only getting two percent. But because of the Euro Christian ideology, you perceive and look at these people like top notch, and you are just a little, uh, just another lost nigga trying to make it off the block. Stop, please, please completely ignorant super stupid you can't get mad you can't get mad when europeans say 
or when Europeans give their opinions on something, please, you're living their life. You're living their upbringings. You're living where they come from. Savagery, murdering and destruction and eating all this wickedness and shedding blood. That's in their DNA. They're born doing this. You taught doing this. Isn't, you see the difference? They're born doing this. You're taught doing this. And then now you're going to tell the teacher they can't come into their classroom. How dare you? Excuse me, teacher. You can't come in here. This is strictly for blacks. Excuse me. Shut this whole thing down. And guess what? They can't do it. And if they wanted to, they would, all it takes is one phone call. Someone please call 911. Tell them that these niggers is having fun when I'm me and my honey bun. And this start and this party will be done in the morning where I'm from. Huh? You, you, you cannot be upset for the things that I'm saying because you guys know what I'm saying is facts. Like I said, this is facts over beliefs. This is facts over beliefs. We don't need the beliefs. We don't need the assertions. We don't need the opinions. We just going to stand and call it what it is, right? You guys grew up saying, call a spade a spade. You got to call a spade a spade. I'm calling a spade the spade. This is their culture. This is none of yours. Killing black people, that's what the KKKs did. That's what the slave master did. That's what the invaders did. You're doing that and you're, and you're bragging about it and you're standing on it. You go to jail talking about I'm the realest nigga alpha. Please. You got caught. You the realest nigga in a cage that's run by the same people that was slapping you, your mama, your auntie, your grandpa, your grandpapa around. What culture? You have none. Stop. Relax. It will be okay. You can't have something that they can relate to. That's that means it's a community, it's, it's a community event. Anybody's included. See, African culture is something that they can't they 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 can't simmer to understand. What is this dance like? Why are they moving like that? Who why, why are they speaking this language? Who can they pour? Are they praying to? Hold on. I don't know what this is. You know what? Call it evil. This is completely bad. We don't anybody that's found doing this is going to hell. Niggers remember the commandments. Because this is the commandments of our God. But it's, it could be yours on Saturday. Maybe Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, this is your God. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you need to relax. Because your God, it goes from, from their God on Sunday, Monday, to their, their, to their new God called social media. iPhones, iPads. You too. That's their God. That's your God. Love it. Enjoy it. Kumbaya, my Lord. Sing it with me, people. Kumbaya. Stop. You don't have a culture. We we are the culture vultures. We are the ones that's trying to live a lifestyle that is not us. Do things that is not of our nature. Please stop. You sound stupid. You sound ignorant. You need to relax. Go take a seat somewhere, Pappy. Okay? Go read a book. Go read an African book. Go buy yourself African proverbs. Learn to read. They said anything you want to keep from a black man, put it in a book. And this is why we super dumb. Because we don't want to read the books. We want to just listen to the YouTube hooks. Oh, this is, sounds fire. You listen to the hook of the song? Yeah, yeah. Get them sexy. Get them sexy. Wee! Oh, yeah, this is me. This is our culture right here. Yeah, yeah. But the Europeans say, hold on, I want some sexy. I want, you say, you, you, you can't listen to this. It's not for you. They're like, excuse me? I made this. You live in my life. Well, you, well, how, how can I not listen to something that I can relate to? My great great grandmother was killing you niggas before you even knew what killing was. Stop it. Relax. Take a seat. Huh? My great granddad was pimping you hoes, pimping you black women before you even knew what pimping was. What you talking about? Relax. Take a seat. We 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 want you made this. You made our lifestyle such a worldwide phenomenon and now we want it back 
Thank you. Take a seat. Continue counting your 2%. Oh, you wanted to make some money back? You got to get some show money. Oh, guess what? We'll put together some shows for you niggas. You dance and entertain. Act like monkeys and clowns. Right? Strap up. Make sure you have your gun because you know you done told these black people that you ready to leave them numb. So now they want to see where you exactly coming from. Oh, yeah. Do that. Represent me. Oh, before you do that, let me, let me get some life insurance. Let me put a life insurance policy on your name. Um... He, he, he's very dangerous so we want to invest two million two million dollar policy on this man sure no problem but this is our culture shout out to dame dash the dame dash ain't nothing but love but when you keep saying that these people are culture vulture look who's putting you in these circumstances it is them they the ones deciding if you eat or don't eat they the ones that decide if you go through that door, you don't go through that door. Even the even the people that you help build up to be in the position that they in, they know that they only got a limit to the support they can give you. Because that same culture that you supposedly helped build, that empire, was never yours in the first place. Because when you are doing and promoting the things that they've done since the beginning of, since the beginning of time, you by default or upholding and investing and promoting their lifestyle and they got more say into the lifestyle that they lived before you was even created they got more say in it than you do so for all my black people that runs around saying that these europeans are culture vultures no it's you being a culture vulture because it's you living their life you're not living your life you don't even know where your life comes from you don't even know where you come from. You don't even know the origin. The, the, the goal for you is to find that origin. To find your identity. To find your nationality. To find your name. Your name is not Johnson. My name is not P. Lewis. That's not my name. I know that's my slave master's name. But I must find it. I must continue searching. The journey is eternity. The journey will stop will come to a complete end when we are back in our natural state mentally physically spiritually but like i tell you guys all the time you will never understand what i'm saying right now until you remove such euro christian ideology it's your brother man from the motherland and i came to you guys live and direct I hope you take what I'm saying into consideration and process. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't say I'm hating. Don't say I'm doing this. I'm just telling you the truth. We are the culture vultures. And our culture cannot be, cannot be copyright, cannot be printed, cannot be nothing by these people because they can never relate to it ever and i mean ever so people please like comment share subscribe join them join the membership follow the patreon follow me on all social media platforms you know what i'm saying we we rising the numbers is rising and looking good it feels good you know i love talking this talk to my people and please remember 9 a.m tune in the awakening hour is for the people it's for us it's for our culture. And if I'm on that journey to find it, I need you guys on that journey with me. And I don't care if the Europeans want to sneak in and look. They can use their binoculars. They can look no matter what they do. It will never resonate with them. Ever. Ever. Because our culture is spiritual. Our culture is connected to the land. Our culture is connected to each other. And no matter what they do, no matter how much nonsense they put in front of us, it will never work. And they know that. So they will demonize it and call it evil, wicked, darkness. You are the dark. You are the dark. The world was made for the dark. That's why we shine bright when it's night. And we look even good when it's day. It's your brother, man, from the motherland, a.k.a. Mr. Who, Jones, the NBIC, a.k.a. keeping my foot on heathens, he grows in the Newland store. 
he the nice next but we just don't stop there we keep our foot on christianity islam judaism hebrewisms and every other isms that's keeping us in spiritual prison are you dumb or are you dumb and i'ma holler at you guys one